Hello, my name is Eric. Today I want to indulge myself in 1970s nostalgia. My times at the nude beach at Jacob Reese Park in Far Rockaway, Queens, in New York City. Welcome to the craziness that lives inside my head. Morris, my first love, took me to Reese Park by way of Brooklyn. He lived in the Bronx. I lived in Brooklyn. He came to my house. He goes, let's go to the beach. Get a blanket. That's all he said. Get a blanket. And I didn't have a bathing suit. Being 300 pounds, it's not easy to find a bathing suit. But anyway, I digress. I didn't know much about swimming or beaches and stuff. Basically... I was a beach whale and did not enjoy the heat and salty water. I hate the sand because you bring food to the beach, your food gets sandy. I had not really a fan of the beach, but he was. And then I found out why. So anyway, since I couldn't swim, I didn't see the point of anyone, not just me, anyone going to the beach. Oh, Irish could swim. If they couldn't swim. A couple of hours later, as we sat on our beach towels, Morris had us shorts, and I had uh, I had these jeans. You know, your jeans. Remember back in the days, if you didn't have shorts, you cut your jeans. I had cut jeans. You know, the bottom part of the legs cut off. Huh. So I'm, I'm sitting on the towel with him, and the scorching heat. These two young girls who were topless walked past us. I was like. What the fuck? And Morris was gawking at them. He was a bisexual freak who had a thing for titties, be them male or female. Ha! That's why he was with me. And then on the corner of my eye, I caught an older man lying face up on his beach towel. Not man's beach towel, not our beach towel. Man's beach towel. (laughs) He was naked. And from what I could see, he was hung like a horse. It was the first time I actually, in real life, saw anything that big. He was obscene and he was gross. I mean, he had a great body. He was old and he was gross, you know. I think that's the only thing he had going for him was his, you know, his you-know-what. And he was just laying there as men and women slowly feasted their eyes on on the sleeping exhibitionist. There were no cops around. No one got arrested for parading nude on the boardwalk. Isn't nudity illegal, I asked Morris? Not here, as long as you stay in this area, the beach one, he answered, nodding to the nude females that just passed by. We were at the eastern end of the beach. I was told that it was very fashionable for women to walk along the beach topless. Men mostly sat or laid on their blankets, advertising their sexual tools for pleasure if one dared. Hmm. Oh, on one of my visits to the gay nude beach, I've decided to play along. Mars couldn't make it this day, so I went alone. And I was very adventurous, not to say horny. So I had the beach towel. I laid faced up, stark naked. And I placed a cap over my face, not not only to keep the sun out of my eyes, but to hide my embarrassment. I was 350 pounds, a complete obese mass of flesh. I was under the impression that I would be ridiculed by people as they passed by. I mean, come on. I could see somebody, look at that fat so. None of that happened. None of it. After 10 minutes lying out in that hot sun, I was suffocating from the cap that I had placed over my face. I took the cap off a little bit because I heard all those, these voices, these human voices, I didn't, hear, I didn't hear them talking. You know, you just hear voices. Blah, 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 blah. 
But I didn't hear any specific uh, conversation. So when I took off my cat, I was slowly removing my cap from my face and found myself surrounded by goggling beachgoers taking photo shots of my body. Now back then we did, we had those um instant the instant one you flash and the thing comes out. Yeah. I guess they never saw anything that <laughs> Small and fat. Anyway, so in 1974, just as usual, the government, the federal government, took over the control of Jacob Reese Park. The federal police cracked down on all the nudity on the eastern end of the beach. That's where. That's the only time they do it. I mean, if you left that part of the beach, you had to put your clothes on. This is before the federal police came. Now the federal police came in and they shut down everything. But it was all over the news that a lot of people was being arrested for nudity. I mean, you just can't come in and just stop the fun, you know. So, Morris wanted to go back to the beach, even though they were arresting nudists. He brought along his girlfriend. She was a very, very breasted woman. And I knew he brought her along so she could show off her titties if she dared. We got there around 10 a.m. if you wanted a parking space in the parking lot and a good spot on the beach. You had close you had to get there early in order to get close to the water and to get a parking spot. Well Mars girlfriend brought along fried chicken and potato salad, my favorite. She made she she made um she made it that morning believe it or not no because nobody went to sleep you stayed up all night drinking and drugging so you we stayed up on that Mars brought, he brought the reefer and I brought the half gallon of 151 proof rum so I mean short story long story short if you want to put it that way long story short we sat there in all that heat. We had to bend it for like two, maybe a good four hours. I drank half of that half gallon. I mean, Mars' his girlfriend, they smoked the reefer. But I drank that half of half gallon of 151 proof rum. I was more of a drinker than a smoker. And then I had to pee for the 10th time. <laughs> but this time when I went to, to go pee, there was a long line at the bathroom on the boardwalk. It was a long line. And I had to pee. So I was drunk, out of my mind. I started pushing on the boys' line. I started pushing the boys' I want to go in the girls' bathroom. I started pushing the boys' line because that's what was going on, by the way. The girls' line was so long, they alternately let the girls use the boy bathroom. Women, I don't know, the women's line to the women's bathroom was always longer than the boys. So anyway, I was pushing. And they and nobody would be all most of the guys up there that was half out of it anyway, waiting to pee. Somebody some boys went in the sand and pee. So anyway, um the people didn't know who was pushing, but this girl saw me and she opened her big mouth. She's oh, that fat guy is pushing the boys in the back. I told him, mind your business, bitch. She so she came up to my face and I pushed her out of my face. And that's when the uh, federal police was there that by that time. He said, you'll be hitting a woman. I said, I didn't hit her. I pushed her. She was in my face. Then I slapped the hell out of him. Then he came, he took out this billy club and started hitting me and I beat, took the billy club from him and beat the hell out of him. Next thing I know, I was on top of him, choking him when I had all these, these, I was surrounded by all these federal police to get me off of him. And you know what happened? I blacked out after that. I woke up the next morning in the city jail, the one that, in the village, they didn't put me in Brooklyn. They had to put me in the one in New York City. And uh, I got up. And then it was time to uh, see the judge. They got me up. So the judge and the judge looked at me with disgust. You didn't go nude, did you, at the beach? He was dis he, The way he said it, he was disgusted. I had my clothes on by then, by the way. He was disgusted. 
And I said, no, I didn't. I said, this girl started trouble, and I slapped her. That's what I told him. So anyway, he fined me $25, and I didn't have $25. I had my wallet. I think Morris had my wallet. So I, I had to sign a paper, of course, promising I was, you know, I didn't have any ID or any of that. Maybe Morris was there. But anyway, they knew who I, yeah, they knew who I was. So Morris must have gave them all the information when I got arrested. So anyway, I just had to sign saying that if I didn't pay the fine in 30 days, they was going to, you know, what garnish you and get a uh, warrant for my arrest and all this nonsense. And I paid the fine. And I didn't go back to the beach. It wasn't fun anymore. You know how the government is. They took all the fun out of fun things. <laughs> you just heard the craziness that lives inside my head.